Greetings world creators, I am Chris and this is Chris Creates the World. I like to bring you fun travel content from all the places I go and today we are in Guatapé, Colombia. It's about a two hour bus ride outside of Medellin and if you've been around the channel for a while you'll know, wait a second, we've been here before Chris and that's right we have. I took a day trip here and showed you guys a video of that but we're here for a few days this time and I want to show you it's more than just that and you can do a lot more here because it's sort of a large backpacking destination and a lot of people come here and spend a few days at some of the different hostels in the town like the Snuggly Duckling that I walked past a few minutes ago. And so getting around, you can ride the tuk-tuks everywhere. There'd be little carts and things that drive around. You pay a few thousand pesos depending on where you want to go. And it's a fun little way to get around. And then in the town itself, there is a lot of different places to eat from traditional Colombian fare to more sort of fun artisanal foods. We found a nice crepe place. There's all kinds of street food as well in the area. So you can find all kinds of street juices, the yugos. Those will either be with water or in milk. You can order whichever is to your liking. And then there's many, many places to take photos if you just walk around. There's Instagrammable spots everywhere that you look. Nice, beautiful umbrellas here in town square. It's kind of fun. And you'll see people taking pictures everywhere. Don't worry. So the fact that I'm here walking around with a camera, totally normal, super touristic in this part of town. As a quick point, when you're here at the city center, the park area, you can go over here to the Felicio Municipio Pau Guatepe, and there is a little ATM right here. So when you're there at the park, over here, Palacio Municipal, there's a little ATM right there. Stop in, get cash, it's important. But if you saw the last video, a lot of this will be familiar to you already. So make sure you check that one on out at the end here. I'll put it up in that corner for you. But for now, we're gonna go check out what else you can do with a few days here in Guatapé. All right, and like I said, a lot of people, if they're coming solo or with a couple friends, will stay in the hostels in town, which is a great way to go about it. You guys know how I feel about hostels. But if you have some family or your friends want something a little bit different, you can also find a ton of really nice Airbnbs like this one that I'm staying at. We found it for about $65 a night-ish. It's got this beautiful fireplace out here. It's really nice on the inside and you can find a lot of these that are really nice that have been taken over and repurposed for Airbnb sake with really good hosts. They'll have a lot of different amenities. Sometimes they offer to bring a chef in and cook for you. So there's a lot of different stuff. So look around on there. Columbia's a bit cheaper than most other places. So you can find something pretty nice for a pretty good deal. And whether it's a hostel with a kitchen or an Airbnb, staying a little bit longer will allow you to go and shop for some of the local food, get some of the local fruits, the markets and stuff, and really make your own dishes with these local ingredients and become a part of the community and the shopping. So that's a really fun aspect as well that I've really enjoyed. And this particular Airbnb has lake access to Guadalupe and its own little inlet here. And it's really beautiful. It's got its own little dock out into the water. It's really fun, we can go swimming there you even just sit on it and enjoy these sunsets it's really beautiful and from that little dock we actually got a boat to come and pick us up you can do that you can hire boats to take you out to different places there's lots of fun different things to see as well as just being out on a boat and going wake fortune or whatever you can also go on these sightseeing tours you can book them from town as well there's boat tours that'll take you around there's things you can see like there's this famous soccer player's house I don't remember his name unfortunately really cool beautiful white house out on the lake of Guadalupe and then there's the Pablo Escobar Bar mansion which is really fascinating this house that was owned by Pablo Escobar it had all these amenities it had like soccer field that doubled as a helicopter pad tennis courts and apparently it was bombed two weeks after it was built and so we only had it for about a couple weeks and then it was blown up by some of his enemies and it's just these remains now it's kind of a fascinating story we looked it up on Wikipedia afterwards but just these dilapidated old shell of a home you can see how big it was as well as you can make it to the site that the old town of El Peñol was on. So Guadalupe was built in the 70s and in the center of where the lake is now there was the town of El Peñol and so when they decided they were going to build this lake they had to evacuate everybody out everyone had to move they diverted like 19 rivers or something like that made this lake and built this dam built it all up into this nice beautiful scenery that you have today and I think it's one of the coolest most iconic lakes I've ever seen just the way it bends and weaves and there's all these little islands it's beautiful and fascinating but there's this little town and so they built this massive cross to go up where the church tower would have been kind of signify where the town was and it's really kind of fascinating so it goes about 28 to 30 meters deep I believe we're asking the tour guide if anyone ever dives down there but apparently it's way too murky and so all the divers just have to feel around because it's dirty lake water the Sun doesn't penetrate that far and then the boat took us back here dropped us off on the dock so 
there's lots of pros to staying here and you know you can always ask your Airbnb guide, your hostel concierge person for advice. So either way you have a built-in source of knowledge and guidance. You can come and even just relax. These Airbnbs they're out in the woods. The jungle is so loud and quiet at the same time but it's beautiful. So I definitely recommend taking a few days and you know check out some Airbnbs or getting around out of your hostel. So let's move on to the next one. And of course, no stop in Guatape would be complete without a visit to La Piedra, the big stone. But I came here once before and made a video of that, doing it much more in detail. So if you want some info on that, I'll put a link up in here at the end of the video. Make sure you watch that if you want to get some info on La Piedra, the massive rock, 700 steps to the top. Definitely a must do when you're here in Guatape. And then do you remember the town we were telling you about that was underneath the water? It was there before they built the dam and flooded the lake, El Peñol. Well, they have a little replica of it here, including the church that was there. It was underneath that big cross that we showed you. And so it's kind of fun. It's up on this hill that overlooks the lake, and you can see the cross as well where the town used to sit. And it's kind of this fun little environment that takes you back in time a little bit. There's a bunch of food and trinkets and souvenirs up here as well. But it's this fun area. You can come and spend a nice, beautiful afternoon. And it's free to enter. There's no entry costs or anything. It's just kind of this place you can come and wander around. Good, feel good atmosphere. A lot of people come in the afternoon. We're here in the evening, and it's actually really, really nice. So I think this is the perfect place to end the day and our little stay here in Guatape in the El Peñol area. So I hope you guys found this video interesting and found some of these tips useful and some ways that you can enjoy your stay here for more than just a day. Like I said, I have been here before and if you want to see more of Guatape itself and El Piedra del Peñol, their big rock, watch this video up in here at the end. And as well as any other of the Medellin videos I have, I'll put Camino Trece right in here. That's a fun stop in Medellin as well. So if you're looking to come to Guatape or Medellin, definitely check those out. Colombia is a fun, fascinating country to visit and I definitely I recommend moving it up your list. It's developing quickly. It's still not quite a first world country, but it's getting all of these amenities and really building into tourism. It's really fun and cool to see. So if you had fun today, make sure to click subscribe and join me going forward. I am moving to Germany. I have a lot of European travel coming up and really excited for, and I'll probably be back here to Columbia to give you more Columbia tips as well. If any of that interests you, make sure to click subscribe and come hang out. I do have Amazon links in the description below for any of my travel gear, paddle boards, hiking gear, all that stuff. You can find it down there. So make sure to go check that on out if you're looking to get into vlogging or just want to find some good useful travel gear. And last but not least, remember you are given your dreams for a reason. You have your interests for a reason. All these places that you want to go that are on your list, they're in your head for a reason. So get out there, chase your dreams, and go create the world. So walking around, just going to pair the family, and they see this. It says, oh my gosh, it's you. Why is that so true?